Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. It was 70, 70 degrees Fahrenheit today in Denver, Colorado and guess what? It's going to be 30 degrees daytime high tomorrow. That's Colorado's erratic climate. So now it's time for me to dig up my geraniums. I love geraniums and I plant geraniums everywhere. However, geraniums can be quite expensive to try to replant every year. So I'm going to turn my geraniums into perennials, if you will. So I'm digging up most of my geraniums. I already dug about three geraniums up that was in my front yard. So this has already been cut. It has a hard a prune and I've repotted it and I will be putting it in the garage to overwinter. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this back. Now keep in mind that there are four different ways you can overwinter geraniums. You can take cuttings, or you can bring them inside as houseplants, or you can do a dormant bare root storage. However, I prefer to dig it up and repot and bring into the garage, let it go dormant in the soil, do modest watering maybe once a month, and keep the roots from freezing. And by spring, the geraniums will start emerging and then I could either keep them in the pot or put them in the uh, bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do what you call a hard pruning on this geranium. And this type of overwintering my geraniums, it works for me. Because there are four different methods, find the type of method that works best for you, for your climate, your region, and if you are having success, then go with that. So in this particular case, I prefer to do the dig up and repot and let it go dormant in my garage. My garage is unheated, but as long as I can keep the roots from freezing, then my geraniums overwinter. I've been doing this for the past 10 years and it works for me. So right now I just want to get all the dye back kind of purged out. I'm going to move back the mulch. As you can see, I've done a hard pruning on this, picking out all the dye back. So I'm going to grab my shovel and I'm going to dig it up. came up very nicely. So it has a really nice root ball. So I'm going to go ahead and just place it in the pot like this. It didn't have any long roots except maybe for one. And I'm going to go ahead and trim that back. So then I'm going to go ahead and press this down. I will backfill this with more soil but for right now I am putting it in a pot pressing the soil down then I will backfill this with dirt I will do a bug inspection I will check for aphids spider mites gnats and other sneaky pests and if I see that there's some pests, I'll go ahead and apply neem oil in the soil and around here just so that I'm not bringing any 
pests into the garage with the rest of the plants that are being overwinter. So as you can see, this one here, I've already watered, put some wood chips on top. This is ready to go dormant. And let's do this other one here. Now this one almost didn't make it. I had a commercial frost blanket over this one and you can see that there's been a little dieback. The, th the good thing is that this geranium did not freeze. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and do a hard prune. Tomorrow, the high is gonna be 30 degrees. So everything else in my bed are, is perennials. So they're all dying back. And I need to just keep pruning back with just those yellow leaves. I'm gonna move the wood chip uh, mulch back. Just so I can get a really nice look at this geranium. And I'm gonna continue cutting back any die back. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this back a little more. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and dig up this geranium. It looks like it's coming up pretty nicely. I have a good root ball. So the roots are being held in place. This is great. So the next thing I want to do is start cutting off some of the long roots. So I'm just going to trim back some of these long roots. But I have a really healthy root ball. So I'm going to go ahead and place it in this pot. Unfortunately, this was the only large pot I had left. With the temperatures turning to 30, uh, going to 30 degrees tomorrow, I didn't have a chance to run out and grab some more pots, but this pot's going to do well just as long as I get the geranium in the pot securely. It will work. Again, my intent is to ensure that the geranium overwinters nicely by going dormant and staying alive and the fruits don't, excuse me, and the uh, roots don't freeze. I'm gonna go ahead and give each of these containers a good drenching right before I store them in the garage. Keep in mind, I'm going to backfill it with dirt after I water it real well. I want to clean it up a little, so I'll tidy it up a little more, do some more pruning. Inspect for insects. Ensure that I'm not bringing any insects in the garage that could affect the other plants that I'm overwintering in the garage. And if I do note, notice that there are other insects, I want to apply neem oil on the foliage as well as the soil. My intent is to allow the geraniums to die back the roots don't freeze and I will have geraniums next spring. So thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.